Now let's create two components for our gradient and box shadow that we can generate code with the CSS3. So let's come here to the command line and use again the same command we will use and then we will generate two uh, component here. The first one would be the gradient and the second one is going to be box shadow so now we have both of our component here I will just close everything collapse it and then reopen it so that we can see everything set up here now we have our navbar gradient and box shadow we will just set up our routing first of all we should go to the navbar here to the HTML and set up the route URL here as you can see we the, this one is going to be the, the, to the home page and we will just set it to gradient as well as the navbar should go to box shadow and uh, we are not going to use HTTP here plus we don't need to use the active we have already discussed about the routing uh, in the angular so as you know when you put the routing come down here the route will be the router and then the URL you are going so for our example as you can see here we'll just write the router link here and then we will write the URL here for the gradient it should go to gradient URL and for the box shadow it should go to the box shadow URL here and this one also should be router link so we will just save it for now and when you click on them it should go there plus we should configure our routing here so you can write all your route in this route constant here you can if you go to the documentation of course I'll refer to the documentation because I can explain it more for you we have the simple route just write the path name here and the component you call the component and then you have the ID you can send a uh, value from the URL and then you can send data to your component you can use the route redirect plus the 404 page like this one so what we are going to need is this one path so I'll come here and put an object here it should the first one is the path and you can write the path to gradient for the first one for the first value and the component should refer to the component we are going to use what we are going to say is uh, it should go to gradient component as you can see VS code will help me import it at the top and for the second one again we will pass an object the path should be uh, make sure you do not put the slash here because this is not going to work like that so you should write the box shadow hyphen and the component is going to be box shadow component so for now if I save it and come to the browser it will automatically refresh the page and see if it is working so if I click on the gradient as you can see gradient work here if I click on the box shadow it will show the box shadow here as you can see everything is working because we have already set up our routing file now how about for the navbar I will just I don't want the navbar to be right navbar it should show the application name here if you come to the app module here uh, component of course you have a title here called app and you can just put the app the app name here for us it is going to be css3 mm, okay generator or gen like this and then we will use the title in our uh, component here in the navbar if I come here I will write it as a title so I'll save it and let's come here see what is going to be as you can see it will not show here because the title is not in the component here in the component that in the navbar component so what we are going to do is the first way is to just put the title here and the second way is to use the services you know that we how we can use services we have discussed this in the previous chapter so for for now I will just write it here 
css3 gen or generator so if this time i refresh it i'll just put a column here again it is not showing and if i come here and see we have our property title and it should work just fine but it is not showing up there so let me recheck it what is going to run. so of course i put it as an object so it should be like a variable here so this time it should show up here and css genus here so as you can see the, uh, the route is also working and the next uh, video we are going to work on the gradient map